Yo, what's going on people and welcome back to the channel. So my guy Kimpei sent me these stems. It's just a four track stem. I'm going to show you how I flip them into my own sample and beat. And if you want to follow him, his Instagram is, should be on the screen somewhere. Make sure to follow him. He has fire samples. Check him out. So I'll show you the preview and let's just get straight into it. He sent me just four tracks i think it's roads a pad perk loop and a bass so here are the chords they're pretty simple just minor ninths he's just raised this up by five so this is a c sharp minor i believe so all the stems that i've stemmed out on the screen i dropped this by three so it's now an a sharp minor so the first sound that he sent me was the roads that's just i didn't need to do too much to it So all I did with these rows when he sent me them, I just literally just EQ'd the lows and the highs and made it very like lo-fi, that's all I did. And then with like the third part of the sample, I just had the reverse section. And that was just using the same EQ. So the second stem he sent me was this like atmospheric pad that just gives a nice element to it. It sounds like this. And as you can see here, all I've done is just raise this by 12 semitones just to make it a little bit more high. It fits in the uh, like the EQ range a little bit better. And all I did again with these stems, the stems are great. So I just cut out like 300, just the little bits to fit in. So the third track out that he sent me was just like a perk loop. And I've added my own one. So he had the original perk loop and I've just added like a snap and just other textured perk loops that were in different packs. And they just sound like this together. And all I did with this was just EQ tons and then I just put this flange on it just to give it like a washed effect that just fits in really nice. The last track out they sent me for the stems was this bass. And as you can tell, it's just following the root note of the minor ninths that was in there. So it's very simple, allowing a lot of room for different elements. This bass was just a little bit lost, so I like to use this more edge decapitator. I take out the highs to just stop the noise and the saturation of the decapitator's drive. And then what I like to do, just get rid of this rumble and just take out more of like the high saturated sound. Next, I added these lounge lid keys, very basic, just the first preset. And it's just using the same minor ninth, but on the second bar. And what I did with this, I just put a default cassette on it just to give it a, like, a tape saturation. Then I use this medium like spring reverb, very stereo, a mid decay, just so it has a nice width to it. Just to, what I like to use this for is just it sort of turns the keys more into like a pad. Just takes out that harshness of like the hammer and then again eq'd as usual and then what i like to do is just i wanted this to pulse in a little bit so i just put like a side chain effect and just turn the mix down next i did like this synth lead sound it's called my dear it's in the uh, analog lab <laughs> What I like about that is just like bounces off like the perk loop very well and just gives it that nice like introduction. So what I did with this, I just put a reels on it, higher flutter, just the default, but just turned down the noise. And then I went to put a cassette on it just to give it a more like a saturated, like weird sound. And then as usual, reverb and EQ. 
and then just a triplet delay which was just going off in different directions nicely and fits in the pockets well next i added like this mellotron bell sound that just sounds like this again same chords very simple just gives it a nice variation to the whole sample again another cassette and then just a tiny reverb just to give it that nice airiness and just fits in like a room perfect then i use this like lossy just to make it like a dense radio sound so it's just like loses the quality but just fits in and gives a nice old grittiness to it then at the mid part of the sample i just added like this simp sound I've put a one two like size chain on this so it goes quite fast and cuts out a little bit and i put a phaser in it just gives it that weird like sound warp warpiness sort of like spooky dark vibe and then as usual reverb eq then i just wanted to make it quite like a wide stereo image so use this s1 imager just so it just it fits in better with the mix then i've used this dupe 8 by analog lab use this like pad sound i turned the uh the fine tune to zero a lot of them have like they're just moved a little bit they just sound off sometimes then on this i put a, a default sketch cassette just to give it that nice tape sound and then i use this for hollow plate which just gives it a different kind of reverb to the other ones just makes it very like uh like dense and just it just gives it a cool texture and as always eq and delay this is the first vocal i come up with myself And what I did with this, I used this uh, tube compressor just to make the vocals tighter and level it out. This little alter boy, I didn't do too much form on it, but a normal if I had a reverb, then just use this band pass narrow just to make it very like dense lo-fi. And then I just wanted to cut out the mix a little bit at 500 because I felt like it was just too sharp. So I just brought that down. So with that vocal, I got the same one, pitched it up and reversed it. So it sounds like this. Then I did another mix on that vocal, so cut out some lows. I use this flanger to give it like a nice warpiness and like flanged out sound. And then I use this ozone just to give it more width so it just stands out a little bit where it's lost. Then another reverb, but this was a ton of reverb just to drown it out crazy. And then I tracked out that reverse vocal for like a riser effect, so it sounds like this. And again with that, I raised that by 12 semitones. And then I use another weird crazy delay, which gives it like a nice as I said, a riser effect and just sustains it a little, little longer. Once I export this sample, I made its own like master chain. First thing I did was this can opener, just took down the bass and put the treble up a little bit, just gives it a nice stand out effect. And I use this virtual mix rack where I just boost and cut little bits where I've uh, brought it down three semitones. The mix is a little bit different, so I need to cut a little bit of stuff. And then I took out the rumble for the EQ and just, I wanted to make it very like lo-fi again. So I took out to up to 4.6K. Another flange, I just give it a nice old school R&B sound. Another width delay, but I've used the bass to make it a little bit more wider. I just feel like it fit in nice and more perfect. When I brought it down, it sort of lost its like tone to the whole sample. Then I've used this L2 just to boost the volume. Make sure your samples are loud, not too loud, but just a good volume that a listener can hear. I'm going to show you how I layer some drums on it. The so first thing I got is just this two-step hi-hat that sounds like this. And as you can see, it was a C, but I just boosted up two, just fits in perfect. And I've added two extra hi-hats that just drive and make the rhythm of the beat. Then I've added this rim that's from Lona's new pack and I've just brought it down two semitones. Then this hard hitting kick.
Again, another 808 from Lona's pack. And as you can see, I've just used slides at the lower tone. If I boosted it down, it just wouldn't fit in properly. So it just it slides and makes the higher pitch version of the 808 just sound a little bit better. And then lastly, I've just used this reversed 808 just to give more bounce. And then through the bridge, I've used this lead. So together, this is how the whole beat sounds. So yeah, that is how I flip stems into my own sort of samples, then flipping into beats. This beat sort of remind me of like Ryan Trey, Black, sort of like Drake. It just gives that nice dark atmospheric vibe. If you want to check out Kim Pei's Instagram, it's on the screen. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, that's also on the screen. Make sure to give a like, comment, subscribe down below. And I guess I'll see you in the next one, people.